Welp, here we are. Week 8 of the NFL season is coming right upon us very, very soon. Actually, tomorrow, you know? Um, so the Falcons are taking on the Panthers. It's a matchup I don't really care about. You know, on Thursday night football, let's just move on. Talk about something else. Um, so what about that Sunday slate, you know? November, the first Sunday in November. We're getting close Getting real close to playoff time, boys and girls. You know, we're about halfway through the season now, you know, as it stands. And um, the Packers look to take out their, you know, their frustrations, their anger, even more on the Vikings. They already beat the Vikings once. And, you know, the Vikings, they haven't looked the greatest to start off this year. And I'm expecting another Packers win, you know. Titans! Look at the bounce back. They could bounce back easily against the Bengals, but the Bengals can make it a game. Don't count the Bengals out. They've been in some close games this year. Uh, but, the, but the Jets, on the other hand, let's just not even talk about the Jets. They're going 0-16, and they're playing the Chiefs. So, you know, that's going to be rough. That is going to be very rough, let me tell you. Um... So, you know, there's about three big games, you know, at the same time at noon. And it's pretty interesting, not going to lie. You know, you got the Colts taking on the Lions. Um, very interesting game because the Lions are 3-3 three and, three and the Colts have a very good defense. Keep your eyes out on that game. There's also Tua, Tua time out there in Miami taking on the Rams. So, um, I don't know how that's going to go because... Again, Tua Tagovailoa gets the start for the Dolphins, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever right now. And they're playing the Rams, who are coming off a big victory on Monday night. Um, you also got the Raiders taking on the Browns. A very interesting matchup there. You know, two teams that are looking to prove themselves in the AFC race, you know. Raiders trying to bounce back from a big loss, you know, last week in the Browns. They've struggled a little bit, but they've got the job done last week against the Bengals, and it's going to be one hell of a game, I can tell you that. Uh, both teams need to cut down on the turnovers, though. Both teams really need to cut down on the turnovers. Patriots, how are they going to do now? You know, now that Cam Newton isn't looking like, you know, the most – promising prospect in the world and the Bills are looking like they're going to take the AFC East by storm you know they have a comfortable lead right now but if the Patriots can beat the Bills somehow they'll be back in it you know the Patriots will be back in the AFC East race so I wonder how that game is going to go but the real big one the real big game at noon is the Steelers vaunted defense taking on Lamar Jackson and that vaunted running attack of the Ravens at noon, Steelers still undefeated. Ravens only have one loss to the Chiefs. And I'm, I mean, it's going to be one hell of a game. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It's going to be one heck of a game. It's it's going to be really a battle of wills in this game. You know, my, I mean, not my, um, the Ravens defense, you know, are, is also pretty damn interesting along with the Steelers offense. But it's going to be Lamar Jackson's legs trying to escape. From the Steelers defense, and it I'm telling you, you know, Lamar Jackson, it's always exciting to watch because I mean, I really haven't seen a Ravens game since they got blown out by the Chiefs, so it's going to be very interesting to see him on the field again, you know, as one of the big games of the day. So there's that. Um, you know, we got a, an interesting slate at. 3 o'clock, you know, we got the Chargers Broncos first off. That's an AFC West matchup, you know. See how Justin Herbert company does against the Broncos, who at times have looked pretty interesting and at times they've looked like pushovers. So we'll see how that game goes. It's it's interesting because both these teams are technically, you know, they're still in the hunt for a playoff spot. I mean, I know it's early talking about playoffs, but they're in the hunt. Surprisingly enough, both are in the hunt. But the real big, the real meat of the equation is at 325 on Fox, both games. You know, the Saints 
Bears. Bears coming off a huge loss last week. The Saints riding high after a big divisional victory against the Panthers. You know, the Saints have struggled at times, and the Bears offense looked anemic. So I'm I'm hoping for the best for this game. And then the 49ers taking on the previously unbeaten Seahawks. Oh boy. This one's going to be interesting as well. The entire NFC West is basically going to claim a playoff spot at this rate if the 49ers beat the Seahawks. You know, 49ers, they've got they still have injury problems. You know, Mostert's been injured. You know, Jeff Wilson Jr., you know, he had three touchdowns last week, but he got injured. George Kittle's been injured. You know, the entire offense been, has been injured. The entire defense has been injured. And the Seahawks still have, you know, they still can't protect Russell Wilson that well. But you know Russell Wilson can make some magic, especially with Tyler Lockett and DJ Metcalf, you know, making plays out at wide receiver. Uh, the NFC East takes a nosedive on, on Monday night. First off, Tom Brady taking on, you know, the Giants. You know, I just wanted to get the Monday night game out of the way because it's not even going to be close. I can tell you already, the Giants are terrible. They are terrible. And for some godforsaken reason, we have a battle for the division lead on Sunday night because, of course... We can't have, you know, a Cowboys game get flexed. We can't have an Eagles game get flexed. So Cowboys, Eagles, two teams that are struggling. You know, Eagles barely beat the Giants anyway. They should have lost that game. And the Cowboys are looking kind of rough. I don't even know who's going to be, you know, the starting quarterback now, you know. You know, Andy Dalton got roughed up against Washington. And Ben DiNucci is a rookie, so... And the Eagles, they they are also injured to all hell. Don't know what's going on with this team. Don't know what's going on with both these teams. Both these teams have two wins. Somebody's coming out with their third victory on the year. And, you know, the Cowboys continue to make dumb decisions all week. You know, and speaking of, you know, potentially dumb decisions, Antonio Brown makes his debut for the Bucks against the Giants. So there's that. There's that. You know, it could potentially backfire on the Bucks, but you know, Dez is on Dez Bryant's on the Ravens practice squad now, you know. And um, Everson Griffin got traded to the Lions, you know, things are happening. Yeah, trade deadlines this week too. Things are happening. And players are still getting picked up that look like stars. But yeah, week eight. Gonna be interesting. There's a lot of games at noon that look very interesting and are exciting to watch. And there's two big ones at 325 before we, you know, we get to the sadness, the factory of sadness at 720 or 820 if you live on the East Coast, of course. Um, don't even pay attention to Thursday or Monday night football this week. I would say don't pay attention to Sunday night football either. But you know it's the Cowboys, the Eagles. That game is going to have ratings attached to it. So, that being said, everybody, y'all take care. See you in the next video very soon. Have a good day.